how to create a Windows bootable USB with the media creation tool. So of course, before you can install Windows using a USB, you should first create the installation media. So these are the steps to create this bootable USB flash drive using the media creation tool issued by Microsoft. First of all, download the required installation media from the Microsoft Download Windows page in your web browser. To get the Windows version you want, follow the instruction provided. To verify your eligibility to download disk images, some versions may require you to provide your Windows product key. To do so, click the Download Tool Now button. For the second step, save the media creation tool to your computer. When the download is finished, launch the file and click Accept when prompted to agree to the software license term. Next step, select Create Installation Media, USB flash drive, DVD, or ISO file for another PC and click the Next button. Step 4, set your desired language, Windows Edition, and System Architecture by following any on-screen directions. If you're unsure, select Use the Recommended Options for this PC, then Continue. For the fifth step, choose the USB flash drive and then select your USB from the list. The Windows installation files will now start to download to your USB flash drive. Finally, um, the sixth step, to download, it may take some time depending on your internet speed. And you should make sure not to disrupt the process until the creation tool has been created. How to install Windows 10 Step 1. Plug your USB device into your computer's USB port and start up the computer. Step 2. Press the setup key repeatedly. As soon as you see the manufacturer's logo, press the key indicated on the screen to enter setup or BIOS. Step 3. Change system boot order. Place the USB flash drive at the top of boot order priority list. Click the boot manual or press F8 and choose the USB flash drive. Step 4. Wait for your computer to restart. Once your computer finishes restarting, you are now ready to begin setting up your Windows 10 installation. Step 5. Windows Setup Screen Choose your preferred language, time zone, currency, and keyboard settings. Once you're happy with customizing these settings, click Next. Click Install Now. Step 7. Accepting the license terms. Click the Accept box and click Next. This will indicate that you accept the terms of use. Next is choose your installation type. So you may either choose Upgrade which allows you to maintain your current data, settings, and apps. Or you can choose Custom which allows you to start over with a clean slate and click custom to perform a clean installation and remove everything on your PC. Step 9. Select your hard disk or SSD. If your disk had an operating system on it previously, or if you have more than one hard disk in your PC, you'll be shown a screen with several disks and partitions. Before you install Windows 10, you need to delete all these partitions by selecting each one and clicking the delete icon. Create new partitions by clicking new and apply. Windows will now create a new partition for storing system files. Click OK to accept. Now, Select the partition where you want to install Windows and click Next. After clicking Next, the Windows 10 installation will now begin. 
we have to wait for a few minutes for it to be installed. After the installation is complete, your computer will automatically restart one last time. When it starts up again for the first time, you'll be able to choose more of your settings. Now, you need to select the right region, which is the Philippines, and then click Yes. Uh, just wait for a moment, and then next, we need to choose the keyboard layout. Select United Kingdom, and then click Yes, and... We do not want to have second keyboard output, so let's skip this one. And after that, we need to connect to a network. So we just have to type the internet password, click next, and just wait for a few seconds. Then Click yes to allow your PC to be discoverable by other PC on the network and then click next. And let's wait for a moment. Click Create Account. After that, you can input your email and create password. Select the right country or region and your birthday. And let's wait for a moment. Next, create a PIN, insert your PIN, and click OK. After that, we need to choose privacy settings for our device. Let's just click Accept. After that, click Yes to do more across devices with activity history. Let's just skip this. Use your phone from PC and let's wait for a moment. And that's it, we have the new windows.